Now that we have reviewed the various websites that you can go and download 3D models, let's go to our scene and put some nice accessories that we will download from those websites. Open the file New Accessories and uh, let's delete the accessories that I have already placed. Let's set up a close-up shot over the left nightstand. I will create a new V-Ray physical camera. See its point of view. And elevate it. You can set the camera as you wish, you don't have to copy my steps. The render looks quite dark, so let's adjust the camera's exposure. Let's also add all the necessary layers. And let me also turn down these IES lights using the V-Ray light mix. The render has a lot of noise. That's because, as before, I have set to do 5-minute test renders. Once we are happy with the result, we will increase the rendering time to get a clean image. Let's now go to the 3D Sky website, click on 3D Models, choose Decoration, and I will click on the Decorative set. Personally, I always use the Pro category because I have told you I want my models to look perfect. But if you are a beginner, there is no point in spending money if you are not being paid from a project. So in this case, you use the free category. Moreover, I will also scroll down here and choose V-Ray, which means that it will show me models that have V-Ray materials. If you don't narrow down your research and buy a Corona 3D model, you can import it in the Max file, but the model will have a black color. It won't recognize the materials, so you'll have to set them. Let me select this model. I will click here to pay it and then choose the number of Pro models. You have to buy at least two models and then decide the payment method and hit Pay. The model starts downloading in a zip format. Unzip it. So now we will go back to the 3ds Max file and go to the menu File, Import and choose Merge. Be careful here. When you choose Merge, you can only select fa Max files to merge in your scene. If you want to select another format, let's say DWG or 3DS, then you need to select Import 
and import. So let me repeat it. You choose merge for max files and import for any other file format. Go to the folder where you saved your 3D model. If you see more than one versions of Max, make sure to select the V-Ray option and choose Open. The Merge dialog box opens. When here you see brackets, this means that our object is a group. When it's not a group and our object consists of more than one sub-objects, you will see all the objects here. So always click on all to be sure that everything will be selected and click OK. When an object is merged in our scene, it is selected and you can see its name here. You can go and rename it let's say, flower set. Then I will click on this command zoom extends all selected so that the selected object gets centered in the viewports and we can see where it is. Choose the select and move command and drag it over the nightstand. Select both the decor element and the cabinets holding the shift key, right click and choose isolate selection. Move the object to the correct position. If we don't want to keep all this object and want only part of it, then here is what we're gonna do. Select the group and go to the menu Group and choose Open. Now the group is open and we can select the sub-object it consists of. I will select and delete the mirror, the frame and this candle. And I will reposition a bit the other items to spread them on the nightstand. When I do my composition, I prefer to click here next to the viewport's name and enable the edged faces. As the name states, it highlights the edges of the objects in the viewport and now we can clearly see all our objects. For instance, this glass is clear glass and we couldn't see it before, but now with the highlighted edges, it is visible. So it's good to use the edged faces especially when you do compositing so that you can clearly see all your objects. Once we are done, we can select one of the sub-objects, go back to the menu group and choose Close. Let's right click and choose End Isolate. And let's do a crop render. Most of the times, the textures of the merged objects are not recognized, so we only see colors and not textures. The leaves here are rendered as white and same goes for the two books. How do we load the textures? Go to the menu File and choose Reference Asset Tracking Toggle. Every time you enter this dialog box, first click on the Refresh button. Here we see all the textures of our scene. If in the status column you see file missing, then those textures are not loaded in our max file and so the scene is not rendering properly. Go and select the first missing map, hold the Shift key and select the last missing texture. Then click Paths, Set Path. Click on the three dots button and go to the folder that contains the textures of your object. Be careful, not the folder that contains all the files in general, but the folder that contains the maps, the textures. 
Click Use Path and OK. Now, in the Statum column, instead of File Missing, you see that the status changed to OK. Let's do a crop render. Now we can see the textures. And do you see why it's great to use the websites I told you to get your models? It's not just the models, it's also the textures and materials that come with them. Now we can, let's say, steal this white satin finish to apply it to other parts of our design. How do we do that? Open the Material Editor and to steal a material, simply click on the Pick Material from Object command and click on your object. The material transfers in the Material Editor. What I would advise you here is, before you enable this command, to create a new view so that you won't get confused when one material gets on top of the other. More specifically, go to the active view and right click next to the view 1 and select create new view. We have an empty brand new surface. Now click on the pick material from object and here it is. You can select the view you want to be active. You can create multiple views and you can also delete views. Right click and choose delete view. Don't worry, the material is still applied on the object. It's just no longer available in the material editor. But if you need it, simply repeat the steps. So let me assign this material to the switch over here and do a new render. We can also adjust the materials of the objects we merge by putting them in the material editor and adjusting their parameters. Going back to the asset tracking, it's important that you do this process every time you import a new model and not at the end once you have merged all your objects because if you do so, you will find it hard to understand which texture refers to which object. Let's go and merge one more object. Let's now go to the Design Connected website, to the Freebies menu and select the Magnifier Lamp. Select the .max file and the zipped folder will download. Unzip it and inside you will see more zipped folders. This pendant comes in two sizes. I am interested in this one, so I will unzip it. And we also need to unzip the Maps folder. Let's go and merge this file. First, I will select the pendant we already have, right-click and choose Hide Selection. I will also hide the two V-Ray lights. Now, go File, Import, Merge and choose the V-Ray file. Select it and click OK. Go to All four windows and press the Zoom Extends All selected command. Here is our pendant, so let's move it above the nightstand. Let's go to the Asset Tracking to load its textures. And 
hit the refresh button. I can see that it recognizes the texture, but if it doesn't in your PC, then select the texture and go paths, set path, and go to the folder. Let's also reposition the IES light. And I want to turn this light off, but since they are instances, if I do so, the other one also turns off. How can we separate them? Select one of the two, go to the command panel and to the modify tab and right click on the V-Ray IE slide over here and choose make unique. Now they are no longer instances and we can adjust them separately. So we can go and turn this off. Let's adjust the crop area and do another render. Do you see how nice the metal of this pendant looks? And we didn't even have to try. It's, it's ready-made. And we can steal this finish and apply it to other objects as well. Let me make one more comment on the object, the textures and the asset tracking. All the maps in 3ds Max follow a path. And you can see this path in asset tracking. If you change the location of your folders or the location of your max file, the textures won't be linked any longer, so if you render, you will only see the colors and not the textures. So every time you relocate a folder or your max file, you need to relink the maps.